Hello, tarot lovers. Welcome back to my channel, Tantra and Tarot with Kelly. Today, we're going to be doing a reading for the new moon in Leo, which is exact today, July 28th, 2022 at five degrees of Leo at 1154 AM mountain time. I'd like to go ahead and wish a happy birthday to all Leos and also remind you that if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking the button below. It does help me grow and I appreciate it very much. So let's go ahead and start shuffling the cards. Today, I'm going to be using um, the Mythic Tarot, the new Mythic Tarot, along uh, with the Animal Spirit deck, a Moonology card, the Archetype deck. These cards are jumping out a little bit. Archetype deck, and um, we're going to pull a couple cards from the I Ching as well. So while I'm shuffling, let's talk a bit about this moon energy. Leo is ruled by the sun, and so is this moon cycle, which definitely feels happy, optimistic, courageous, bold, fearless, and strong. Leo is the lion in, um, in symbology, so the lion represents strength and is the strength card in tarot, so we may see that come out today. We may also see the sun or some wands cards because of that fire element. Let's see here at the bottom of the deck. When I cut, I've got the star card, which is the Aquarius card, but we'll see how that comes into play. So what does this moon cycle feel like to me? Well, I think it feels like writing a new script for your life. <laughs> so how does that work? You have to decide who are the leading characters, who are the supporting roles? What's the theme? Is it going to be a comedy or tragedy? Uh, hopefully not a tragedy, but certainly that's up to you. Um, also you have to decide who is going to be the director of your new play. So is that going to be you or are you going to let somebody else direct your play? Um, definitely creative freedom abounds right now. So definitely when you are, um, creating that new sense of self and you're getting into projects that, uh, you have probably been thinking about for a while, you know, looking to the past does not do any good. So looking at those scripts that have already been written um, aren't going to give you the answers that you're looking for now. So definitely using that spark of creativity um, to just have a, a new guiding force uh, to your future right now. So we're definitely creating a new start based on what you know now, not necessarily what could have been um, going on like in Aquarius season six months ago uh, during the full moon in Leo, what we've learned about ourselves and what um, the challenges that we've come overcome now would definitely put us in a new position to make some decisions. And so based on what you've released and what you know, um, our plans could definitely be more realistic at this time. And so that provides um, for some excitement, especially um, the more realistic you are, you may think to yourself, okay, well, this is actually going to work out this time as opposed to maybe a few of the false starts that you've had in the past. All right, so I'm going to take a main energy, a past, a present, and a future card. At the bottom of the deck, when I cut, I've got the ace, eight of swords. Um, so let's talk a little bit about that. Right now, we do have um, Saturn and Aquarius, uh, which isn't exactly opposing this new moon, but it is close. And so that does um, mean that we may be feeling like we're still working with some restrictions. Uh, and if those restrictions uh, are getting you a little stuck in your head, perhaps there has been um, some thoughts that you feel like have been blocking you. This could be a good time to be realistic about which ones of those you can also release. Let's see here. The main energy we have is the queen of pentacles, past energy, wheel of fortune, current energy, seven of cups, future energy, nine of wands. There are those wands cards. And then I actually have two moon cards and two animal spirit cards. So the moon card I have here is the answers you need are coming full moon and Gemini. The other moon card is a win-win outcome is forecast full moon and Libra. The animal spirit card I have is the black egg, which is that throat chakra and also uh, the dragonfly card. So we'll read a little bit more about those. 
I have pulled the rebel card uh, for the archetype cards. And then the two cards I have for the I Ching are 48, the well, and number 21, which we'll have to look up here. Um, I think it's biting through. Um, all right, so let's see what does all of this mean for the new moon in Leo. Well, looking at our queen of pentacles here, she's certainly done a lot of hard work to get to this point. Um, feeling more confident, feeling beautiful, feeling like um, you have a better sense of self right now. Leo rules the fifth house, which is um, more of that playful, flirty, fun energy. And to get there, a lot of times we have to be more confident in ourselves and our money and where it is that we put our investments. And then in the past with the Wheel of Fortune, things may have just changed over um, with those eclipses that we had a few months ago. You may feel now that the change has already happened. You see how the wheel has turned. Um, this specific card I feel like represents Jupiter, which today is also setting to go retrograde. So um, all the areas of expansion that you've been in um, with Jupiter and Aries, which is also trying the sun, could be uh, really um, working positively for you now. But with all of that fast moving action, you may feel like it's a good time to slow down just a little bit. So we can't keep growing quickly all the time. And um, we've made a lot of strides forward. So taking a pause to see where those um, new strides have taken you and do a bit of a review cycle uh, could be a good, a good plan right now before you go out and write your new script so that you know that you're headed in the direction that you want, but looks like we're gonna definitely have some options here. So the seven of cups, um, you know, you could have one option right now that's your main option where you're like, okay, and even as it relates to money or a job or things to do, social uh, activities, maybe there's a lot of options. You wanna go out and go to some parties right now, but maybe there's only one that really um, is attractive to you. The rest may be just, for fun, but you're still exploring. Either way, don't let all of the options make you confused. Keep your eye on, like she's got her hand, she's pointed to this one. Keep your eye on the prize, but don't forget to go out and I guess do some window shopping if perhaps you're looking um, just to keep things light. So in the future, we have the nine of wands, which could be some storms coming up. Either way, you may have put quite a bit on your plate and now you have a large list of things to get done. And so, yeah, knowing that, um, even though it may feel like that play full uh, romantic time and you wanna get out there, um, you may still not be able to um, commit to too much right now because there is quite a bit that you, uh, maybe a final battle that you need to go through. And so as the wheel uh, has turned though, I feel like, you're definitely feeling confident about that final battle and what um, facts that you've learned up to this point will help you write that story in the way that you want. So you aren't necessarily on the losing end of the battle, but you're the one that's accomplishing the goals and setting out to do what you wanted to achieve. Uh, so, yeah. So either way, though, um, looking at these other energies, we have this rebel card and it says, Challenge, uh, light attributes, challenges authority to affect social change, rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Shadow attributes, rejects legitimate authority out of anger, rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. So what do I think that this means at this time? Well, I do think this has to do with that Saturn um, square, the sun and the moon's nodes that we're going to be coming up into. and. And that is like a crossroads, but a lot of times we do want to rebel from the authority, but we know better knowing that we may have to learn a lesson that we've already learned. So if we don't want to have to relive the past, being smart about the choices that you, you're going to be making and the fact that you can still be that rebel on the inside without necessarily uh, bringing the whole house down or causing um, issues or problems with other people, perhaps you've finally gotten your act together now and you could go back and do some more of those rebellious deeds, but you know for a fact that it's going to serve you better to keep your head on straight. So, and in, 
and that's interesting here that we do have, we have two cards representing the throat chakra. Okay. We've got the Gemini, which is the third house represented communication. It says the answers you need are coming and black egg. So definitely speaking your truth here, especially as it deals with other people, as, as it may be dealing with the person that you're in a relationship with or family members, whatever's coming up, being open and honest, and don't be afraid to, um, to tell people what's on your mind, but maybe not in such a way that you're going to be burning bridges, but um, maybe doing what this card says, which is a win-win outcome is forecast. So finding that inner balance with the words right now, I know we have, let's see here, we have Mercury in Leo right now as well. So you may have felt like you have a lot to say. And as, um, as you're making your decisions as to, I guess we're going to go, what the script is going to be for you that may change your mind about perhaps what conversations you decide you don't want to have. So being mindful about what needs to be said and what doesn't need to be said is going to be important. And so definitely thinking before you speak, don't being too rash, um, not being too rash in, in your thought and, and being kind with your words will be important. The other interesting thing that we have going on right now, which may also, um, have to do with this, this nine of wands and this um, excitement coming up or the feeling that there's a lot going on is we have the North Node conjunct Mars and Uranus right now. So a lot of action, a lot of activity, and maybe some surprising things coming through, maybe some things that could be a little bit hard to deal with. Um, but using that power of creation is going to be very, um, very key um, to making the wise decisions that um, you are going to be guided to make at this time. So let's take a look at these two cards that we have for the I Ching. Um, number 48, the well, and number 21, it says cutting through. So a couple different names for some of these cards. Let's see here. Number 48, the well, says that throughout all the cultures of the world, the well has served as a symbol for that which sustains life and provides an inexhaustible source of nourishment. Human nature is basically the same. The passage of time cannot add to its dimensions, nor take anything away. Still, just as the well can deepen to produce clear water, we can enrich our lives by delving deeply within to tap our essential nature and reach the true source of spiritual nourishment. Now, we do have um, Venus in Cancer right now, so definitely still feeling that nourishing energy. And as you're um, looking around you, you know, feeling about, you know, who else needs to be nourished in your circle? Sometimes with Leo, it can feel all self-serving. And this says, beware of shallow thinking. So beware of thinking about just yourself and how the energy may serve you as the time at this time, but being aware of your emotions and also relating to others, relating to others, like we see here, um, in this Gemini um, moon card and how they may need your nourishment is also important. It says, beware of shallow thinking. The image of the well suggests that going further within produces greater, greater clarity. So be sure to be doing um, that deeper thinking for yourself. If you're dating some people right now, or you're looking at your options and you aren't quite sure, and taking the pause, not necessarily having to come up with an answer, but being honest and truthful with yourself and others. So let's take a look at number 21, and then um, we will look at the um, changing lines between the two cards. Number one, number 21 says, current circumstances call for confronting a thorny situation and cutting through it. Somehow the way to harmony and unity is blocked or frustrated, perhaps how this person's feeling here. By um, untangling the deceit or the um, corruption could be a way to get through the blockage. Like Alexander the Great cutting the Gordian knot, take decisive action and you will meet with good fortune, which we see here with the Wheel of Fortune. Where'd my card go? With the Wheel of Fortune. Here we go. You will be met with good fortune and even your destiny. Don't be afraid to shake things up a bit. The ability to take corrective measures when they are needed is an essential trait of leadership. So being that strong fire leader that we know um, Leo provides for us, making strong decisions and, um, 
you know, don't, like I said, don't be afraid to, to shake things up. But if you're feeling blocked or um, frustrated right now, definitely being patient because we see that this win-win outcome is forecast, but it could take a minute to get there. Um, at the bottom of um, the deck, after I took off the last card, we also have um, the justice card, which is this Libra energy. So trying to find a balance with all of the heat as it's coming through, it's definitely a fiery time right now, will be important. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for joining me today. Oh, yeah, we need to read that one line. Um, I definitely got ahead of myself. So what is the line that we have changing between number um, 48 and number 21? Let's see. We have the lines that change. We have one, two, three, four five and six. Oh, so all the lines are changing. So why don't we go ahead? And so everything's changing right now. Why don't we go ahead and read the middle two lines, which are lines three and four on card number 48. And you can decide which one fits best for your current situation. All right. So going back to number 48, lines three and four. Line three, the well is clean, but not being used. This is a shame for like an abandoned well, your abilities are not being recognized to your own dissatisfaction and to the detriment of others. If someone in a high position or perhaps the highest and best part of yourself recognizes your abilities, then you can shift directions and still gain magnificent good fortune. So making that wheel work in your favor based on your skill set, being confident about that, like the Queen of Pentacles. And believing in yourself, even if nobody else does, is definitely going to be a great way to move ahead. Line four says the walls of the well are currently being lined with stone. So in time, so the time is not ripe yet to lower the bucket. There are times when the priority in life is put is to put details in order and take care of infrastructure, saving profound exploration for another time. Currently, it is more important to gain discipline in small things so that you will be able to profit from your self-improvements in the future, which it definitely feels like there are a lot of little things right now. So taking care of those details is definitely going to be a great way um, as well to manage this energy. And we do have the Lion's Gate coming up on 8-8. So set your intentions and move through with confidence, grace, and style. Thanks again for joining me and have a lovely new moon and Leo. Please subscribe to my channel for more Tantra and Tarot.